be a kza. Yeah, and you've told yourself uh, some of your characters, at least uh, in appearance, are inspired by real life people. For example, Ian McKellen for Marshal Inquisitor Bellarmine. That's right. Yes. So, where yeah. do you find inspiration <laughs> for your characters? And to be honest, when I I found for your I find your manga from Pinterest from arts and, yeah. and I thought okay. it was the fairy tale for the at the beginning you know it oh, yeah. resembles Many people that told style. Me that. What do you think about your style? Uh, so uh, even if fairy tale is not uh, one of my influences, I, I stopped reading fairy tale after the first volume of Radiant because people uh, point at me things that appear in fairy tales and and, and I appear also in my uh, in my manga. Uh, I can see the the influences in common that we have, so uh, I know what you're talking about. You 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 came across my style in Pinterest. You you yeah. thought to yourself, yeah, maybe fairy tale, but yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, many influences uh, that are common with this type of uh, manga. I love JRPGs like Final Fantasy, um, uh, Dragon Quest, things like that. Uh, I love also um, European folklore. So that brings to me a lot of inspiration to my work. And also because I I tackle some topics about politics and things like that, there are some people that, that I bring from my knowledge of uh, the, the witch hunt in Europe. I, for example, when I came across the, the, the history of uh, witch hunt in Germany, with uh, Conrad de Marburg, uh, there was really many things that he was saying, at least that we wrote about him, that uh, that were similar to things that our politicians in France were saying at the same, uh, in our contemporary times. So I bring some historic characters to to my manga because it resonates with the topics that I wanted to, to tackle, uh, which was rejection of migrants, rejection of everything uh, exterior from what I want to to see in their country. And that was, uh, at the time, that was a, a French minister that was saying a lot of bullshit on television that I was putting in the mouth of Conrad de Marbourg in, in the manga, in Radiant, but I was taking them, I, I was taking the words exactly as he said them, and putting it in Radiant. I didn't change them at all. So every racist thing that Conrad is saying in Radiant comes from, uh, what's his name? Almost all of them come from a, a French uh, minister that was Manuel Valls at the time. He, he was, a, yeah. A few years Hopefully ago. Hopefully we will not hear a lot from Le Pen in your manga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, people nowadays, uh, this year, people send me messages uh, because that brings... When they start Radiant now, they think that I'm talking about friends right now. But I started Radiant 10 years ago. And so the topics yeah, that I was yeah. tackling in Radiant was the topic about politics 10 years ago. Unfortunately, it's worse now. <laughs> but I hope we won't hear so much about <laughs> about them. Yeah. So I bring yeah for for the inspiration I bring a lot of character that I've uh, that have existed uh, in the history of witch hunt and also when there are some cool dudes like um, Ian McKellen from The Lord of the Rings or X Men or uh, I love his face so much. He's so charismatic and so sympathetic you you can engage with him because he seems really a nice guy you you see the cleverness in the eye even if he plays dumb and everything so he inspired me the character design of Bellarmin in radiant and in, in the meantime because i knew Bellarmin wasn't a bad guy he was full of nuances i thought okay that's a cool that's a cool dude to to, to bring energy from to 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 bring this character with so much nuances because uh, just seeing him, I, I love seeing him. You know, <laughs> that was the main purpose of that. We stay genuine, uncensored, and unscripted, and we always will, as we have to order our usual. Share us and subscribe.
subscribers and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Figuzo!